That's just because I finished doing a tutorial on her but for now I'm just going to talk about this wig and it is from the company called Dona Love Hair and I've talked about this company before on my channel and I had a lot of good feedback from them I did I think two wig reviews on them if you haven't seen them I'll probably link them down below um, yeah, so I've done a couple of wig reviews on them before and I've never had any problems with them. So I was so excited to work with them again to review this gorgeous cute bob wig and it is in the style of Marilyn Monroe. I specifically asked about this certain style because I am going to be doing a costume like this this year in Halloween so look out for that if you follow all my social media platforms but anyways the company is called Dona Love Hair and they provide so many different wigs for Halloween for everyday life but I am so glad I got the wig from them because it's extremely realistic looking there's absolutely no synthetic shine and I know that you can go wrong when doing Marilyn and I've seen the wigs in stores and yikes they're really scary I just wanted this uh, look to be perfect and you know Marilyn is iconic so I just wanted to do her justice and this wig definitely does her justice it looks identical you can flip it to the other side because I think that her mole is on her left and it's flipped over on the other side so you can do that if you want but it is a gorgeous wig it's really cute and short I wonder how it looked like straightened, but I don't want to do that because I have a party to go to in this wig, so I don't want to mess it up. But anyways, I think that it's amazing quality. I can zoom in and show you. So with some lace glue, the wig would look absolutely perfect and realistic. It would be like, this is my actual hair. The only thing is right here, you can kind of see the wig cap, so you might want to use a blonde wig cap. I am using a black one, but that's because that's the one that can cover my hair the best. So yeah, the color is absolutely beautiful and stunning. If you guys do need a discount code, you could just use my name, Nicole. But anyways, I love this wig to pieces and I feel like it made my Marilyn look very complete. It came in this really cute box right here. I love the boxes that they come in. They're iconic because they're mint and they have a cute bow right here. And also it says enjoy in the back. And what it comes with inside is really great because it has a wig comb. It's very cute. And then the, where it came in, obviously. And then it includes a wig cap. So this wig cap would have actually gone better with my wig, but I wanted to use a black one, but I'll use this one for the actual day that I'm going to wear this costume out. I just wanted to film this look for you guys and also got, let you know about this amazing wig and you have just enough time. This wig came in extremely quick and yeah, so there's that's my review for this gorgeous, beautiful wig. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial that you guys are about to see. So if you're not, if you're interested, just click the wig down below. If not, you can enjoy the makeup look. I love you guys so much and I'm so excited to rock this look.
To get started with this Marilyn look, I'm just taking this foundation right here, which is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. I love this foundation because it makes you look flawless, and I feel like this was more her shade. I do have other foundations that would work just as great, but they're a little bit more tan. So I wanted to keep it more on the porcelain side to resemble Marilyn a little bit. I mean, I don't look anything like the gorgeous woman herself, but... I just wanted to get as close to her skin tone as possible. Now, once I'm done adding that foundation, I'm going to make sure that I look flawless, so I'm going to pack quite a lot on. Even on my problem areas like my nose, I feel like my nose is like the worst part, which is why I don't go out with makeup 99% of the times because my nose just gets so red. <laughs> but anyways, I'm just taking my Tarte Shape Tape concealer and just so I can have no dark circles I want to look flawless and I'm making sure that I put this over my eyebrows because my eyebrows are red and hers are not so I'm making sure that I will go over them now I'm just gonna blend out that concealer so it could be nice smooth and seamless you don't want any cracking that's why I love this concealer because it has no cracking a, a good Another good concealer is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. That one doesn't crack on me. I heard that for some people it's not the best, but for me it works really good. But that's a good drugstore concealer. And also the Fit Me Concealer is really good too by Maybelline. They just have some really good concealers. <laughs> Speaking of Fit Me, I'm going to use the Fit Me Powder. And the only thing I didn't like about this powder is that it made me really, really, really porcelain. And I didn't want that. So later on, I'll be adding bronzer just because my face looked a little white. But that's also because the studio lights are like bright on my face too. So if I'm looking kind of like a 18th century wig person, 17th century, whatever, I'm sorry. But I'm going to fix that soon. No worries. Now uh, I'm going to put that beautiful uh, mole on my face. And it's the famous Marilyn Monroe mall. I honestly don't even know if it was real. Like, if you guys know, comment below. I would like to know if her mall was real or not. <laughs> now I'm just taking this Maybelline. I just barely noticed I'm using a lot of Maybelline. I, this is not sponsored, but boy would I be lucky if it was because that would be an honor to work with them. But anyways, I'm using the Almond Satin uh, Quad. No, it's not a quad. It's a trio. And I love this. I've been using this since high school. I, I've purchased so many. I don't know if they have them anymore, but I think this is the last one I've ever purchased. And I hope that I don't run out of it because I really love this. It's my go-to neutral palette. I can take it anywhere with me because it's small. I just It's really good pigmented. I love it. It's perfect for these vintage looks. So I'm just going to blend that in my eye and I'm going to take the more taupey ashy color. You want to stick to colors like that that are really neutral. And I'm just making sure uh, to go in my crease and giving it a downwards effect because her eyes were dreamy. So they have this like kind of droopy effect. I don't want to use droopy because I feel like that word's not very pleasant. But that effect, like sleepy eyes, bedroom eyes, you know, uh, it was really sexy and that... I feel like her eyes really uh, made her, you know, like not just her body or all the other iconic things that she has to offer, but her eyes, like, and eye, eyes are really important, and I feel like hers were important, but mine, I have small almond eyes, so I don't have her eyes, especially because my eyes aren't blue, and I do not know how to keep up with contacts worth a dern, or I would be using blue contacts, but... Mine always dry out. I always forget about them. So I just need to get better at that. And then these makeup looks would be more realistic. Now I'm just taking some eyeliner. I'm using a pencil one because when I was looking at her pictures, none of her liquid eyeliner looks, or if she did use liquid eyeliners, her cat eye looks were super black. They looked more charcoal-y. I don't even know if that's the right word to use, but more penciled in. I will be going in with... A liquid eyeliner as you see but it's kind of dried out so it still kind of gives that pencil effect which I like so I'm just making a wing and I'm making sure that the wing is going down to kind of give that sleepy eye dreamy eye look that I was just talking about 
and this part was tricky because to give that like sleepy eye look you have to make it go downwards and I just was thought that the look didn't look that connected but it gave me what I wanted which is all that matters so yeah I'm sorry about that if it didn't come out like a one but uh, sometimes we mess up but I honestly don't have a problem with it I think that it looks just as good and I have that dreamy eye look and that's all that I want so now that the, my eyeliner took forever, I'm just going to add the second winged eyeliner at the bottom. Just take a lighter version of black and do this. I saw this in a lot of her pictures. If you watch Marilyn Monroe tutorials, people leave this out a lot. But um, you might want to add this in because if you look at her pictures, she has this a lot. But then she doesn't, so you don't have to do this. Don't listen to me. But this is my tutorial, so this is what I'm going to be doing in it. And I know a couple of other people have done it in the past, too. So yeah, I felt really intimidated doing this look because so many people have done it, but I wanted to give it a go. Why not, right? So I'm just taking this uh, nude shimmery eyeshadow and placing it lightly in the inner corners. Don't want to blind anyone. I just want it lightly there because I noticed that she did have a little bit of eyeshadow there. So once I'm done with that, we're going to move on to lashes. I'm going to take these wispies. They're very flickery at the ends. And I'm going to be actually layering on some half lashes on those wispy lashes because that'll give the more uh, dreamy eye effect and make your eyes look more go downwards, which is what we want. So the more emphasis on the lower half of your eyes, the better because it's going to show that your eyes are dreamy and they go downwards. <sighs> A lot of explanations but as you can tell I take three million years to do my mascara so okay here we are putting the eyelashes on I love these lashes because they're super easy to stick on like at how many of you agree if you've ever tried these they just really are so as you can see this is where I'm layering on some half lashes these are just eyelashes that died which means that when I pull them off one night the fronts got torn off so I was really sad but hey they serve their purpose now I'm just taking cherry by Mac you can use any red lip liner and I'm gonna outline a little bit over my natural lip line for my top lip only because she has a really round top lip and I want to try to get that same lip I don't know why whenever I do rounded lips I just look like an idiot and everyone else just looks so amazing that I look stupid but um, it worked on her, not so much me, but like I said, I'm just get, trying to get her look. Then I'm taking Russian Red by MAC, and I love this red lipstick. It's a really nice matte, um, old Hollywood red. And then I'll just take this lip gloss by Buxom. It's called Betty. I felt like it's only fitting because Betty, like, is such a, like, an old-fashioned name. And it's kind of a maroony color. And... That will complete the look for the most part. I love this lip gloss. It makes my lips look poutier, just like Marilyn's. And I'm just going to, like I said, add some bronzer because I was looking a little uh, wig-like, you know, back then when they used to powder their faces. So I wanted to make sure. And I also added some rosy blush because she had the rosiest cheeks. And that's what they were all about in that time period, really rosy cheeks and red lips. But anyways, this is my Marilyn look. I hope you guys enjoyed. And also, if you're interested in the wig, everything's down below. If not, it's okay. I also included a tutorial on how to get the look. So, I hope you guys enjoy this and have a safe Halloween or a safe play, whatever you're using this look for. It doesn't have to be Halloween, but you know I'm going to use it. Alright, love you guys. Bye!